Hey everybody, this is Nick from Android Headlines. Today we're going to be taking a look at Oxygen OS 2.1 that powers the brand new OnePlus X. Now the OnePlus X is sort of a mid-range device from OnePlus. That's going to feature dual SIM card support, which you just saw there, as well as micro SD card support in that second SIM slot. There's also going to be software or capacitive buttons here, so that's similar to OnePlus's other phones. So the really great thing here is that both feature plenty of customization, so you're not going to feel left out if you prefer one over the other. Off-screen gestures are all here, including double tap to wake, drawing a circle for the camera, and a couple of other options as well. There's an AMOLED display with the dark theme as default, and that takes the main stage by providing an ambient display as well that lights up the individual pixels for the time and any notifications you might have. If the sensor proves to be unreliable, there's also a proximity wake here, where you can just wave your hand over the front of the device. That also works pretty well when it's just sitting on a desk and you want to check your notifications real quick. You can just wave it over the front, and the breathing mode will appear right there. The flicker that appears on the camera is due to the refresh rate being lowered to save the battery during this mode. There's also some UI customization here that we saw on the OnePlus 2. That includes a toggle for dark mode, so if you don't care for the all blacked out look of the default look on the OnePlus X, then you can switch it back to more of a standard lighter lollipop mode. There's also going to be accent colors here. You've got a couple different colors, as well as changing the LED with that same color palette. That's basically just going to change the accent colors throughout the UI entirely. App permissions are here as well, which is a great feature since that's not stock with Lollipop, that's actually stock with Marshmallow. And in fact, this is based on Android 5.1.1 Lollipop, not Marshmallow just yet. Although co-founder Carl Pei assured me that Marshmallow update will be coming pretty soon, although they weren't real keen on giving me a specific date. In general, there seems like there's quite a bit of feature parity between the OnePlus X and the OnePlus 2, which is surprising given the price difference, but it's pretty cool to see as well. Hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to check out our other OnePlus X coverage on the site and here on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe to us if you liked the video. Give us a thumbs up and check us out on Facebook, Google+, Instagram, Twitter, wherever you are, we are. Thanks for watching. Until next time.